Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a sketchbook tour of my seventh sketchbook. So this is an ELO sketchbook. You can see on the back. The stickers on the front are from Jasmine. These two here, so the fox and the cute little red panda. I made myself a, a Bob Ross sticker and then this is um, a sticker from Sly Bonsai, which is where I got my mud kit pin from. So if we open it, I don't know how well you'll be able to see because obviously it's such a thick, well, it's such a bigger sketchbook, so I can't really fit it all on the image. But on this page, I set um, goals. So my goals here were to work on developing original characters, create new characters, work on designing pins and stickers, create character worlds and stories and have fun. So I, I started this sketchbook on uh, the 14th of August and I finished it on the 14th of January this year. So on the front there's just um, my little robot Echo. On this uh, page, um, it just says, welcome to my sketchbook. Um, you can follow my Instagram there, which is little e illustrations. Um, so on this page, I was just um, developing my little robot Echo. So like, you know, just drawing him see it, you know, to get an idea of what he's like, like make a story for him, wrote down his colours and everything. Um, this page is from when I went to the cinema with, with my friend and we watched Horrible Histories. Um, we also went to Pizza Express, <laughs> if you can see. We went for like a three course meal, but well, <laughs> at the end of the main course, they just the lady said that they didn't have any chocolate fudge cake, so we didn't end up having the, the main course, like the three meal course thing. Um, and then this is sketches of Iola, my original character. Just drawing her again, just to see how I wanted her to look. This page is from Prompt Squad number 9, which is One Hue Green. Um, you can check out that video if you want to. It's on my channel. Um, this page here is from when we went to... Me and my friend went to Round Hay Park. Um, we originally planned to go to Nairsborough, but the traffic was terrible and roads were closed. And Police were redirecting things, people, so we just we just went there instead, and it was a lovely day. <laughs> the weather was really hot too. This page is was that didn't make sense. This page was um, my Wally character design, so we're just drawing him and. Same again, trying to develop my original characters. Um, this page is from where I bought one of Christopher Collect's tokens and he sent a nice thank you letter and signed it and I was, well, and he sent some stamps too so I just thought I'd stick that in my book. Here is when I was trying to develop Echo, my robot, you know, just drawing him in different poses. If you can see. And then I did the same again on, on this side. Huh. 
<laughs> I think that um, this one was one of my favourites because he looked so fancy. <laughs> um, and then Jasmine sent, um, I got some cards from Jasmine and then she, she sent me some stickers and a, a lovely message so I stuck that in my sketchbook so thank you so much Jasmine and they're Jasmine's uh, social media and, and things there if you want to follow I definitely recommend it um, this was a drawing of Anna using my blue colour race pencil and then I did Rapunzel from Tangled Here is um, when me and my friend eventually managed to go to um, Nesborough. Um, which looks like this. So we went to Nesborough and um, so I had such, such a lovely time and it was really interesting to learn about the different things there and we went to the Mother Shipton's cave and then there was like this petrifying wall that um, things would hang from and they would turn to stone which was pretty cool um, we also had dinner at this uh, place I can't really remember the name of it but the stuff made us feel really uncomfortable like my friend bought this um, obviously ordered some food but they sent her the wrong one and it was really awkward but the apple juice I had as well was terrible so I, I just drew a little cat there and a witch and like a forest sort of thing. Here was when I was trying to... I bought this uh, owl from Hobbycraft, it's like a candle thing and you can like design it and paint it yourself but it wasn't really going very well so I sort of just stopped and um, I stopped doing it. And then I made an Inktober post page. Um, so I wrote down all the prompts and then like my goal. So my goal for this year is not to put too much pressure on myself to complete it. I want to improve on my tattoo illustrations and possibly draw things I've not drawn before. I'm a little nervous about it. I have prepared at least a week's worth of drawings but 31 drawings is a lot. So this is just a prep for um, Inktober, so I decided to do themes, so I did crystals for number two. I didn't end up following these themes at all, but I did draw some um, crystals in, in my sketchbook, so here are some designs that I, that I made. Mm, I was feeling a bit crap day so I just made a little thing of me and Bear <clears throat> um, this here was a swatch page for a test of trying to colour my inktober pieces in and then I drew a little turtle I even wrote here update theme didn't work So this was my prep for Folktale Week. So I wrote down all the prompts here and then started thumbnail sketching about what I would do. I didn't end up completing it. Um, here I was testing, drawing, practicing clothes. Here I didn't have a great day at work at all. I just felt really sad. You can even see here. No, nope, just feel like shit. It's just a rubbish day. Uh, here I was practicing some... Just practicing lots of different things I think, like, you know, 
hands, feet, just trying to get them right and work out the shapes of them. This is from when I went to um, Farmacopolis with my auntie and my grandma to look around and then I just drew some random Pokemon and not really sure what this page is, just random doodles and stuff. Here is when I went um, bowling with my friend. I lost. <laughs> I'd not been since primary school so I was definitely a little, a little rusty but I did get one strike so I was happy with that. And then this is um, my 1000 subscribers uh, video illustration so thank you so much um, everyone for 1000 subs. was just another bad day, just saying Bear is back. If you don't know who Bear is, he's my original character that represents my negative emotions, so I, I draw him when I don't really feel great, I guess. And this is another prompt squad uh, drawing video thing. We had to design as own. Well. Character of Prompt Squad, so that's what I did. There's also a video on this, which is, you can check that out. Um, it's just in the Prompt Squad playlist series. If you want to know what Prompt Squad is, just click on there and you can find out. Here I drew some starter Pokemon from the new Sword and Shield, and then the original. And then this is a Moomin, which was drawn with a giant pencil. I actually went back and filled this page in because I left it by accident. This is from when me and my friend went to London. It was the first time I'd ever been and we travelled down by the Grand Central train. And we went to the Harry Potter shop, which was awesome, it was really cool. We, we did lots of different things there and just looked around, it was really cool. And then we went to Buckingham Palace, I, I didn't finish this spread. Um, but we also went to that, which I can't pronounce. And I'm not going to say it because <laughs> I don't want to say it wrong but they do like bubble tea which is in the Chinatown at London in London and it was really really nice it was really really nice I had the rainbow tea but I would definitely get it without the popping pills next time and here's another Moomin because we went to the Moomin shop Um, so I attempted to do childhood week for the winter, so um, here are my thumbnail sketches and I didn't end up completing it. I, I started doing it digitally because that's how I wanted to do it, but again I think I only made it to four days and then I stopped. Um, Dave, one of my art friends, requested drawing a dog jumping through a water sprinkler while being ridden by a garden gnome, so that's what I drew here. <laughs> and then I was just practicing hands again. This is a drawing of NF. rubbish this day, if you can see, because the, the markers like do bleed through, but obviously not 
massively. And this is um, some sketches of some wildlife, like woodland animals. I use my graphite pencil to do these. This is um, Mario saying that he's a hairy man. I just, I thought that was funny at the time. These are some concept sketches for my Converse trainers, which I decided to turn into Spongebob themed trainers. There's actually a video on my YouTube if you want to see that. I didn't end up managing to finish it because it was very time consuming. Here's Wally, drawn with reference and then without reference. There's definitely a, a huge difference there. And these are just some random drawings. Then this was a prompt squad um, Sharpie challenge that we did. And I just did some doodles and stuff. And then I I was going to draw Iron Man, but I didn't finish. I didn't finish it. And then this was a, a prompt idea I recommended for us to draw in the prompt squad group. Um, so, a, a, what this is a walrus sitting in a beach chair eating a cupcake whilst watching a circus elephant fail at balancing on a ball. And he's going, you shit mate. And he's just like, well, you get the idea. And then this was a little grumpy Sven reindeer. Um, this was a challenge suggested by Nadia. Hi Nadia, if you're watching this. Um, it was basically to draw on patterned paper, so I picked some Christmas paper and drew my original character, Snow Dude, and then I decided to do Draw the Grinch. Then we, would, um, we was practicing drawing caricatures we decided to draw Emma Watson as a caricature but it went really wrong so I decided to cover it up with a sticky note and then I was practicing some more to try and, you know. <laughs> not, knows not what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next page. <laughs> Then this was another challenge which was to, it's like a continuous line drawing but without looking. So this is a Moomin, Wally, Spongebob and then that's drawing Wally with looking. But like it's basically where you put your pencil on the page draw without lifting it, like without taking it off. Um, um, I saw my friend today, I, I had such a lovely time, I went to a pub for lunch and I had Cajun chicken wrap. Oh yeah, that was really, really nice. Um, and there was this lady who was doing face paint and I built up the courage, well, I, I got my face painted and then we went bowling. <laughs> like, I called, um, well, we called my name uh, Rudolph on the on the bowling thing. I got a strike and I did win this time but me and my friend are drawing because um, I lost to the last one. <laughs> this was a challenge to draw a OC so I just drew a little turtle. This was when it was Christmas Eve morning and I was on a movie marathon and I watched Kung Fu Panda first. I love that film, it's really, really good. 
and then I just did a, a bunch of drawings on Christmas Eve. Then this was my drawing for Christmas, so just, just saying I had a, a lovely Christmas. Then Boxing Day I, I drew an elf. This is a, a page full of doodles again, but I didn't colour it in this time. Here I was having a rough day, just wishing that Bear would leave me alone, and he's like, nah. <laughs> um, if you watched my Prom Squad video, you'll have seen this page before. This was where we was designing a weapon. <laughs> this was another prompt by me and I decided I wanted everyone to try and draw a monkey riding a mobility scooter whilst trying to dunk a chicken through a basketball hoop. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> And then, obviously, I didn't fill those pages in. And then, this was when... This was supposed to be, like, for a comic challenge, so I was just thumbnailing out Echo in the Outback. So the, the koalas are like, Hey, mate, we got a new one here. Stroof, you look like a bloody bush pig. My name's Bruce, by the way. This creature's a flaming galah, let's move on Sheila, leave this swag man, like, it's really stupid, it would basically, it's just really silly, if I can find it, I'll find the comic out and I'll inf insert it here so you can read it. This was, um, drawing my feelings again, so I was just saying, I hate my brain. And this was a link drawing saying hello 2020 because this is the 1st of Jan now. And then I drew um, a reference from Pinterest. I wanted to try and draw like a little Japanese character if you can see. Um, and then these are some more drawings, just, just practicing. This is was my drawing of Kai. Um, and then just you know, just random drawings, just practicing and warming up. Then this was a challenge to use crap art supplies, I guess. Well ones that you don't like, ones that you don't like to use. Um, so here I use watercolour pencils. And I really don't like watercolour pencils. Well, the ones I have aren't very good, so yeah, I failed at that. Um, this was a Clash of Clans fan art piece that I made. And then this was Nadia's request. She was telling us a story about how she was wearing this cardigan and like, I can't remember it specifically, but this is Nadia's request, so here we go. Um, and then I was pra starting to practice and learn perspective, so this is my perspective drawing number one. And then I looked at some tutorials on perspective, so the horizon line, vanishing point, and learning what one point and two point perspective is and that we don't really often use three-point perspective when drawing. Um, this was a challenge to try and draw like Pete draws. So just using random shapes to draw something that's supposed to look amazing, but well, it didn't work out. <laughs> and then this was another challenge, which was um, to draw using the side of a pencil, so I used a 5B pencil and drew a koala and um, his name's Bruce <laughs> and then I tried again with a horse
Here's some more perspective drawings, just trying to work out how to draw things using perspective lines and everything. I still haven't mastered it yet, it's going to take a while to do, do that. I drew Echo again. My, my little man's growing up here, look. <laughs> and then I tried to draw, well, it, I tried to draw Echo with, in, in perspective, but it, it didn't work, so I just drew two random things there. Then I was drawing Buckley again, but it's still going to take a lot of work. This was when I was explaining a story to Nadia about how this car nearly ran into me because it was in the wrong lane. And, well, it's a long story, crossed over. And, well, yeah. Here's another drawing. Um, I developed a bear a little bit, so I gave him like little legs and arms. I'm basically trying to drop him off to the shop of unwanted items. But he's saying like, um, you can't leave me here. <laughs> this was a challenge to do a pen drawing but only using pen. I liked how that one turned out. This was another Pekka drawing which was a um, Clash of Clans inspired art and then this was blue hue I was just trying to draw a samurai and then colour it in blue but it, it didn't work out great then um, I was talking to Nadia, Nadia about um, drawing light handed because I draw heavy handed so when I rub out you can always see lines so she was just helping me to practice draw light handed and these are just little sketches I did. And then I drew Bear again. These are some sketches of koalas that I did. And these are, this is Finn. And it was using a um, technique uh, which was to draw in biro pen but then use. Um, like a, a marker to go over it, like a Copic alcohol based marker and it would leave like nice, nice shaded things I guess. Uh, I got some bad news this day and I, I just, I just didn't feel very good so I guess I just drew how I felt. Uh, this was a challenge suggested by Nadia, which was a, a washi tape art challenge, so we would use washi tape to create an illustration. So I used my sprinkle washi tape to make a donut, and then like pies and donuts to make a kimono. Then I was trying to draw um, Echo again in perspective. And then this is just a, a, a random sketch. Of someone from Pinterest and then that's it that's the end of this sketchbook um, I hope you liked it if you did please <laughs> give it a, a thumbs up and comment below what you think uh, let me know if you close to finishing a sketchbook or you've started one and yeah if you did enjoy this subscribe for more I guess. <laughs> I think that's what YouTubers say. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time with another video. Okay. Thank you.